living as well as study and uh, um, work experience in um, Germany um, as well as in uh, United States. So um, since I have um, studied in both of these places uh, and also worked on both of these places, so I'm gonna share some of my experiences um, that I have so that it is easier for you guys to decide between um, which country to choose for your further um, education or for your uh, professional um, life. So talking about uh, study in Germany, so uh, um, it's it's um, yeah. it's very uh, cheap to study in Germany. So we have both public as well as private universities here, uh, but um, um, compared to uh, the states, so in the states it's very expensive. Uh, so you have to pay a lot of um, thousand dollars uh, for your study but in Germany if you want to study in public universities so it's it's free of cost you don't have to pay for any tuition fees so um, so that's that's a very good um, aspect that you can you can choose uh, you can um, which, which helps you to decide um, uh, where, where you where you uh, actually want to study uh, if you want to keep the fact uh, keep, uh, keep that fact in mind um, that you you don't have to pay for your study and you can uh, you can provide your fully full attention towards your study uh, if you if you apply to the public universities in Germany uh, there are also private universities here but um, they are uh, expensive um, so uh, so the university that I studied in was a private university so um, it's called ja Jacobs or Jacobs how you pronounce it uh, Jacobs University uh, which is situated in Bremen uh, the northern uh, German part um, so there it's uh, it's quite expensive uh, I think it's not uh, not as expensive as you would um, have to pay uh, if you um, apply to uh, university in the states so it's cheaper than that but still it's uh, also very expensive so uh, they charge about um, 20 to 30,000 euro uh, so that was uh, what I um, that, that was what uh, they used to charge when I was studying there so um, uh, yeah, but um, also they they also provide good scholarship for, for students. So I was also uh, handed a very good scholarship, and uh, that was uh, much much less um, what I had to pay compared to the scholarship that I had in uh, US. And um, another another important fact about uh, study in Germany um, is uh, so it's uh, it's a three years uh, degree. Um, so some people might have the questions that um, how can you have um all the credits that are required um, um and you can you can finish it in three years so um in in us uh, you you might you have four years of study so you might have um, more credit hours there right but um but in germany they, they designed the syllabus in such a way that uh, um they, um they they fully complete all the credit hours that is required for for a bachelor's degree uh, so so it will be very it will be difficult uh, for you to finish the course that you would have finished in four years in us uh, than um, than to finish uh, uh, in germany um, so um, so the study is um, um, is actually hectic uh, and also um, and also tough here um, because you have to finish the course of four years in three years right so that's why it's um, it's quite hectic um, here compared to what um, what you might have in us so i i had the same experience when i was in uh, in washington state uh, university for a semester abroad in my fifth semester so um i was studying in germany for two years and then i i so the university that i was studying in uh, also offered uh, an exchange program so that's why i i decided to choose um, the states because i also wanted to have some experience uh, from from the United States uh, in my academic life, so that's why I, I went there for my fifth semester and uh, uh, and yeah, like I told you, um, so since you have to you have to cover uh, more credit hours in Germany, so I did not have uh, much um, free time um, when I was um, uh, when I was studying in all my four semesters, first four semesters, but uh, yeah, so um, in US, so the time I spent there was quite flexible so I had um, a lot of free hours also because I did not have to complete um, as many credit uh, as I would have required in Germany so that's why I had some free time and also I could also do a university job there 
so um, it is not required but uh, since i had some free time so i just decided to um, have uh, an university job uh, there so um, if you plan to um, if you if you uh, if you are planning to finish your study early so if you want to uh, have a quick um, degree uh, then uh, it might be a good idea to um, to go to Europe so um, but uh, if you want to have a relaxed uh, and um, relaxed and uh, relaxed time as well as uh, have some uh, free time for your other activities then uh, it would be a good idea to, to choose um, uh, United States for your further education so yeah there are different factors that you might want to consider so uh, how you want to shape your career what are your goals uh, when do you want to finish your study and also please try to have uh, the fact in mind that what do you do what do you want to do after your education so um, if you want to um, be involved in industry or in academic research so you have to you have to uh, make a plan so um, you have to think uh, in advance. So whenever you are applying already uh, for further study, uh, keep this fact in mind that uh, what is your um, actual future plan? So um, where, where do you want to work in future after you finish your study? So um, yeah, so that would be my second point of discussion. Uh, so um, after I finished my bachelor's, so I also did my uh, master's and PhD here in, um, uh, in Germany. Uh, and during my PhD, so um, it was uh, funded by uh, this company called General Electric. So um, in the um, last uh, couple of months of my um, of my PhD, so I had an opportunity to um, to go to US again uh, in the G headquarter um, uh, and work there for a couple of months because um, the the algorithm or the research that I was doing, I uh, so the, and these people wanted me to implement that in uh, one of their machines so th that was um, like a job uh, what i did uh, for a couple of months and um, uh, that was uh, quite interesting so um, the, the people were very 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 friendly very helpful there so uh, they made it um, look like a home for me so even though i was there for two months i, I knew some people uh, very well uh, so some of my colleagues um, um, very well um, and um, talking about um, work life, uh, so um, after I finished my PhD, so I also applied for a job um, in, in the United States as well as um, all over Europe. And uh, I had um, an offer for a postdoc position from uh, one of the um, leading hospitals in Washington, D.C. Um, yeah, and um, immediately after I had a um, uh, position, I had a, had a position from uh, from DC. I also got uh, um, got acceptance for for the job here uh, in Germany in uh, Philips uh, Healthcare uh, in Philips Research. So um, yeah, I, I I was very confused during that time. So what to choose for whether to go for um, uh, for an academic postdoc job or uh, an industry industry based research job. So what I'm doing right now is fully uh, research based uh, job. Uh, even though it's in a in an industrial company, so yeah, I I was looking, I was, I was comparing um, which um, position outweighs another one. So um, yeah, so the main factors that I had in my mind were job security, um, uh, how how um, um, how how you want to um, um, how, how many holidays like uh, you you get in uh, every year because you also need free time uh, for yourself so you cannot um, you cannot be like a donkey and work like 24 hours in a job so you you have to consider your social life uh, your work life balance also so that's why um, the number of days that you have vacations also matters a lot and uh, apart from that also um, the colleagues that you have the community you have um, and um and um, your health insurance also um and um, and the main thing is also how much do you get paid for your uh, for your work so um because after you after you um, after you uh, study then you would want to have a, a job position uh, that justifies the hard work that you have done uh, right so um considering all these facts um, 
so I, I decided to choose uh, Germany and uh, because I have been living here for last um, eight, nine years and um, yeah, um, staying here was a better idea for me. So but uh, if you plan to study, um, if you so whenever you are applying for, for the study, um, so uh, keep this fact in mind that um, you have to um, also uh, consider the um, possibilities of um, of, uh, of uh, after after study um, period also like where you want to work so keep this in fact because uh, in your mind um, since uh, you want to um, you want to have a um, longer stay in, in in the same place because it's much much easier you are already familiar with with the culture with the society um, and with all the rules and regulations so um, yeah um, so try to plan this uh, way ahead so try to think um, think uh, five or ten years in advance when you when you apply for for uh, for the study um, yeah so um, in Germany um, I don't know um, uh, how much how what's the exact figures and um, these stops but uh, I have heard from some of my uh, friends who, who work in uh, US that um, they, they have less number of uh, vacations there so these are paid holiday so in at least in Germany we have a full full month like you have a 30 day uh, paid vacation um, and in uh, yeah in US I think you you don't have that much you have uh, less than that so um, yeah, uh, you have a very good uh, balance uh, for your work uh, and your personal life um, when it when it comes to um, this aspect, and uh, also uh, the job security is very good uh, in Germany. So usually you have a, a, a first uh, three to six month uh, period <coughs> uh, where where um, where the place uh, you are working like they access your um, your work and uh, they, they evaluate how you are performing and uh, if you do really good then uh, you are granted a permanent uh, work contract here in germany so once you have that permanent job contract so it's it's very difficult uh, for for these people to kick you out of the company so even though there's a very big um, problem going in the world like uh, this covid so a lot of people have lost their jobs because of uh, covid worldwide so but uh, here in germany it's um, whenever you have a permanent uh, job contract so uh, despite of these um, these unseen um, unseen events uh, it's uh, they, they cannot kick you out of the company very easily so right now also people uh, so the, there are a lot of companies who are in uh, um, in um, who are not making profits but still uh, uh, what they do is um, the government uh, pays some portion of of their salary um, and the company uh, even if the company cannot pay you the government itself uh, pays some portion of that so that's a very good aspect um, that you have here so the job security is very good uh, and the health insurance it's um, so you have so you have to pay like 15 percent of your salary for health insurance uh, but uh, out of that 7.5 so half is paid by your um, your company and half is paid from your uh, salary so um, if you so and this health insurance covers everything except for um, except for some uh, dental cares and some beauty related aspects so apart from that um, even if you have some very um, life threatening disease or uh, if you want to have some big surgeries also so everything is covered here in the health insurance so um, uh, this is also a very good um, aspect that you might consider uh, when you, when you uh, plan uh, ahead for your um, post study um, life also and uh, yeah apart from that um, now um, the work hours are also getting reduced so you have to work seven to eight hours per day and um, yeah uh, so they, they don't want uh, their um, their employers to uh, to work like a lot uh, also they, they want uh, them to have a good balance in their life so yeah so these are some of the um, aspects that i had uh, in my mind when i choose um, europe um, as a whole uh, germany um, uh, when i when i uh, compared it to the position that i had in us so um, yeah you can also think about um, this these things if you if you plan to um, uh, stay um, abroad after your education and want to work here so 
yeah so these are some of the things that i wanted to share um uh, with you guys um so if you have any further questions so you can ask Bikal also uh, in his channel and um and uh, also to me so you can reach me out uh, um, um in my facebook so yeah you can just search for me uh so yeah that's all from my side um uh, all the best with uh, your applications um, um try to keep everything um, in place uh, so start early uh, make some good research um, try to keep some priorities in your mind so um, um, and um, consult to your seniors um, so yeah um, all the best and uh, good luck everyone thank you